A destructive force of nature has quickly begun to make its way above ground as we head deeper into these summer months, David. That's right. You heard it correctly. Japanese beetles. Well, they start as eggs, then larvae, and they emerge from the ground as adults. Our bug track meteorologist, Ryan Matouche, joins us live now in central Topeka with more details on these pesky insects. Ryan? Mackenzie, David, if you're not a fan of insects, then this next story right here might really bug you, but if you're like me and you kind of enjoy this sort of content, then you're in good shape. Right behind me, you may or may not be able to see these Japanese beetles that are flying everywhere. In fact, I'm surprised one hasn't hit me just yet. That remains to be seen, uh, but they're pretty destructive and they like to feed on plants, uh, trees, shrubs, really anything with any sort of leaf on them. In fact, uh, they typically feed on more than 300 different types of plants. They have a metallic green sort of shape to them. And again, they can cause significant damage to the surrounding area. Summertime is when they emerge from the ground and become fully active adults. They have a one year life cycle, but they actually only spend 30 to 45 days as flying adults. And they use all of that time to become menaces to society. Uh, but the good news is that our local K-State Extension office has some great solutions for how to deal with these uh, pests and protect your own plants. We can give you answers with publications and everything, how to control them. We suggest that you go out and pick them off of your plants as much as you can and you can put them in a rubbing alcohol and water based solution or a soapy water mix. As Catherine was saying, there are indeed solutions to dealing with these beetles and you can request information and help from the K-State Extension Office from April through September. And thankfully, these insects don't bite or sting, which is what made me comfortable enough to handle them today. And so if you have the same problem, you should be able to hold them as well. Live in central Topeka, Bug Track meteorologist Ryan Matouche, 27 News. Got a new title there for him. Well, a statue.